Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let's solve today the lead code question 28. What we need to do in this question is the following. We need to return the index of the first occurrence of needle in the haystack. Or simply speaking, we need to return the index of first occurrence of substring in string. Um, here's the example. Imagine that the haystack is equal to hello and the needle is equal to double L. And obviously the first occurrence and actually the only one in this case of double L would be here and which it starts on index two. So zero, one, two, uh, because it starts on index two, we just return two and that's it. And in case of, for example, if the needle is not presented in a haystack, we just return minus one. Um, let's do that. First of all, let's check for the base case. Basically, if for example, the, the haystack is equal to now, or the needle is equal to now, or else the needle dot length um, is greater than the haystack dot length. If that's the case, we want to return minus one. Um, yeah, for example, if if like in this case the he stack would be equal to double L and the needle would be equal to hello, of course like there is no there cannot be a word hello inside double L just because like the like the needle has a greater length than the he stack, so we don't even need to search here. It's just impossible. Um, that's why we return minus one. Okay, Elsa. As they say in description, uh, for the purpose of this problem, we will return zero when the needle is an empty string. Uh, let's have this condition as well for this purpose. So if needle is the empty string, or we can say if needle.length is equal to zero, we return zero. Um, okay, now let's start the main part. Um, let's iterate through the characters from the he stack. However, not through all of them, because actually there's no point to iterate through all of them in some cases. And this case is the following. So I should be less than the he stack dot length minus needle dot length uh, plus one. So if you're somewhere in the end of the he stack, and the length of the needle is greater than the amount of characters which are left to iterate and we haven't found anything before. In this case, we know that like, you know, the needle cannot be, uh, cannot be somewhere in the end of the string if there's like no space for it. So uh, that's why there's no point to iterate through every single character. Um, okay, so we're going character by character. Um, from the he stack, and basically, let's check if the current character is the same as the first character in needle. So we can check the rest of the characters and see if there is a match or not. So if the he stack dot char at i is the same as the first character from the from the needle char at zero. If that's the case, um, we want to check if if the next the next characters from the he stack are exactly the same as the next characters from the needle, right? So let's have another if statement. We are going to use some a Java. We are going to use the Java substring uh, building function because it's quite efficient. So if the substring from the he stack, which starts on, on index i and it ends on the index um, needle dot length plus i. So if the next piece from the he stack exactly of exactly the same size as the size of the needle, so we're considering only the right specific amount of characters for which we're aiming. If that's the case, 
if, for example, this substring, if it's if it's the same as the needle itself, so if, if substring dot equals needle, if that's the case, we know that we found this substring and we just return i. Uh, so the syntax is correct here. Yeah. Um, and if we didn't return while we've been iterating, it means that we didn't find the the needle in his stack, so we just simply return minus one in the end. And that's it. That's basically all what we need to do. Let's run the code. Okay, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because I forgot the bracket here. Let's run again. Now it works. Let's submit the code. And it worked. Perfect, guys. It was the lead code question 28. Please subscribe to this channel, guys. It's very important. And have a nice day.